Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to react to um, Jimmy, my nigga, Jimmy High Roller. Uh, when trash talking goes horribly wrong, bro. And based on a thumbnail, he's talking about D-Book and fucking Luca, man. When he was talking shit to Luca about, you know, the Luca special and shit. So, you already know how that ended up at, you know, to D-Book. It didn't end well, so, yeah. Then he got sent home to fucking Cancun and shit, so. Hey, let's see what Jimmy got to Got um no gotta say about it. This clip will go down in the basketball trash talking hall of fame. Not because Devin Booker's trash talking worked, not because he actually backed it up or anything, nah. but because of the absolute obliteration that Everything. was the party. Devin Booker did not know it at the time, but this is where it all ended. A video taken moments before disaster. Yeah. Everybody, I can tell Today's when they up. Come on, Luca, talk to him. Sorry, Jimmy. I'm not getting paid, bro. I fuck with you, though. I fuck with you. Don't get me wrong. Bro, why is there a dog outside just barking? Like, what is wrong with you? Take your dog home. Next step in your creative journey today. Small this is the text my brother sent me just moments before actually. witnessing the point. biggest playoff basketball yeah. monstrosity I've ever seen in my entire life. I didn't believe it. So I had to tune into the game myself. And sure enough, there it was. <laughs> oh boy. In what world is this even Water. possible? A record breaking 64 win Suns team, fully healthy, is getting dog walked in a game seven with their season Water. on the line. Okay, well, I wasn't able to watch the first half, so I'm assuming those measly 27 points had to have come from Chris Paul and Devin Dropping Cam I mean, Johnson. There's no way they just didn't score. Bro, they didn't score. Huh. So, after all that trash talking, all that hooping and hollering, after going up 2-0 in the series, this that D was the best the Suns had to offer. A couple weeks ago, I made a video about how the Nets, and specifically off, Kevin Durant, had one of the worst playoff meltdowns in recent history. But, uh, we got a new contender. Of all the players in this year's playoffs, Chris Paul had possibly more to prove than anyone else. After a career of bad luck and, quite frankly, Damn. bad playoff performances, Damn, NBA that quad fucked him up. And hamstring. But I think it was hamstring before I won them. I think it was a whole fucking leg, I don't know. But at this point, we should have known better. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Lose an NBA record seven consecutive game sevens. Hey. And shame on everyone. Hey. Why am I even watching at this point? But it's one thing for Chris Paul to fall apart in a game seven. For one reason or another, but the he's whole been team? his entire career. But the entire Suns roster, how yep. does the one seed, the best regular season team in the NBA, fall apart this badly with their season on the line? In the first half of Game 7 against the Mavericks, the Suns' starting five combined for 15 points on 29 shots. Bro. Luka Doncic, by himself, had 27 mm -hmm. points on 12 shots. Chris Paul this. and Devin Booker combined for a whopping three points in the first half. Mm -hmm. Three points. Even worse, That's those Luka three Magic. points came from the foul line. Neither of them made a single shot. By the end of the game, the Suns starting five mustered up just 37 points in 143 minutes on the court. Luka put up 35 points in just 30 minutes. I don't think I've ever seen an NBA game in my entire life that was over halfway through the second quarter. Mm. The only reason why Luka didn't drop a 50-point triple-double on these boys was because the man was on the bench yeah, by the third quarter, took out. prepping for the Warriors in the next round. Right. In this series featuring the Suns and the Mavericks, Luka had more points than pure scorer Devin Booker, had more assists than league-leading assist Chris Paul, had more rebounds than 7-foot center DeAndre Jordan. Bro, that is... Bro, more rebounds is crazy, bro. Nigga, bro, this man, bro, ate it, bro. That nigga Aiden ain't getting no max, bro. Bro, I know what the, bro, I don't know what the fuck the Suns gonna do about Aiden, bro. Like, I honestly don't. And had more steals than defensive player of the year. Damn, he had more steals than Bridges. Bridges. The man, man Luke was everybody. So bad 
The franchise had to write an apology letter to their fans. Oh, they did? Devin Booker spent the 2022 NBA season building a solid MVP campaign, having the best season of his well, career. Well, throw that shit in the trash. Somehow, when it mattered most, Booker put together the worst playoff game of his entire career. Bro, nigga the vanished. The didn't even put up a fight. It's like there's no fire in him. He's not rising up in these big games. And this big game mentality is what separates guys like Luka and mm -hmm. Giannis from others. Sure. These guys are vastly more talented than their peers, and that definitely helps. But just as valuable as their skill set and physical tools is their will to yep, win. Yep, and mental Luka toughness. Luka would rather die trying than lose a game seven like this. Right. The man won't back down to anyone, and he right. has the game to back it up. Right. I mean, seriously. Is there anything better in sports than a superstar who plays better under pressure? A player that can take the trash talk, Water. spit it right back, and make you regret it. Lucas said it best after their Game 5 loss against the Suns. Do you know how confident you have to be to say this out loud after going down 2-3 in the playoffs? This killer mentality, almost like a basketball hitman, taking names and seeking revenge mm. is something you were either born with or you aren't. Players Next. like Luka, Giannis, Jimmy Butler, John Morant are all cut from the same cloth as guys like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and Larry Bird. Mm. There is Next. no end to what they will do to win. It's almost psychotic at times. Not every night will be some monumental performance, but you can guarantee they put the effort they'll go down here. swinging. Facts. We often wonder why some players, although extremely talented, seem to never step up to the plate Facts. when all the chips are on the table. While some players rise to the challenge and love every moment of it, others shrink under the mounting pressure of these career-defining moments. Facts. It's intangible and immeasurable, but it's there. And the thing about guys who don't have it is that they tend to underestimate the guys that do. who do have it. Mm -hmm. In the 90s, NBA players were legitimately scared to trash talk Michael Jordan. I mean, they already knew that there was a slim chance he wasn't going to dismantle them. But at least if they kept quiet, Michael might just spare them from embarrassments in front of friends and family. Everybody's tough when they're up. And wouldn't you know it, come Game 7 when the Mavericks were up, Devin Booker was quietly sitting Quiet. on the bench with not a single word to say. Which really makes you wonder if Devin Booker is cut from not the same cloth as the Kobe Bryants of the mm. NBA world, but from the same cloth as the Chris Pauls of the NBA world. Damn! So along with that, CP is one of the greatest point guards of all time. But if you're relying on him to close out a game with everything on the line, you might be in some trouble. Patrick Damn. Beverly has been on a Chris Paul slander campaign. Bro, Patrick years. Beverly has been talking reckless on on national television, bro. He's been going crazy. But I love it, though. I love it. Like, bro, I love Patrick Beverly just talking shit, bro. Like, bro, more NBA players need to do that shit. Like, like bro, just go up there and talk your fucking mind, bro. Like, bro, what the fuck are you going to do about it? Days, and whether it's true or not, he spoke about how NBA teams aren't all that worried about facing Chris Paul. Damn. I think he is going He's crazy on Chris. Nah, nah, bro. I think he is going crazy on Chris Paul, though. It, it, like, like, bro, like Pat, like Pat Bev got like a distinct hatred for like you know Chris Paul in his heart, bro. Like, honestly. Worried about facing Chris Paul. CP3, is he gonna be a Hall of Fame? No question about it. Yeah. Right. No question about it. Do guys in the NBA go to sleep? Early the night before playing the Phoenix Suns? Hell no. No. You mean as a team, or would you talk about Chris Paul individually? Chris Paul individually. Okay. Damn. No. I'm going to State 44 over there in Phoenix. I'm mm. going to have me a nice little wine, probably sweat it out, and uh, but the pregame shoot around and get ready for Chris Paul. Steph Curry, I'm going I'm going to bed at 8 o'clock. Mom, don't call me. My girl, don't call me. I don't, I'm, I'm locked in right now. It's, not, it's, it's, it's two different monsters. Damn. That's all. And although that's really rich coming from a guy who spent the last eight years getting spanked by Chris Paul, I True. think there's probably a lot of truth to what he's saying. Chris Paul just doesn't have that hitman mentality that other greats have. And Devin Booker mm. may not have it either. This whole Game 7 collapse, and even going back to last year's finals, reminded me of that clip from a couple years ago where Devin Booker was complaining about getting double teamed at an open gym. Instead of embracing the challenge, he became frustrated. That is true. He was getting mad about getting double teamed doing a doing like a pickup 
game scrimmage. It, it's it's like nigga, it's like nigga, r- relax, bro. You ain't double team, like bro, you, like bro. You gonna have to deal with this shit in the NBA anyway. So it's like, especially doing like based on that sun scene during the time, it's like nigga, you was getting double team anyway. So it's like nigga, you you should just embrace the shit and 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 you, you know accept the shit as fucking practice, right? As fucking practice or scrimmage because bro, nigga was working out and shit. He wasn't going OD hard, but it's like bro. It's like, bro, you fucking practicing and shit. But it's like, nigga, if that was Kobe, nigga. Kobe would have such that challenge, and nigga. Kevin pushing, from a kept balling. Years ago where Devin Booker was complaining about and it's crazy how, like, Kobe, like he look up to Kobe and shit, but, like, try to copy Kobe. Like, he try to copy Kobe and shit, but, nigga, you ain't Kobe, nigga. He complained about it. Some fans often say Devin Booker is the closest thing to Kobe Bryant in today's NBA. Eh, I just forget it. Twisted. Because you want to know what Kobe Bryant said when he was getting double teamed? Was teams was people double teaming you doing? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And what you what you do you think about? But say you got to send another one. <laughs> See, bro, different type of breed, nigga. different type of breed, nigga. You gotta send another one, nigga. You got triple team me, double team me ain't enough, nigga. Send the whole army, my nigga. Send the send send the whole cavalry to me, bro. Fuck that, nigga. Fuck one person. Kobe felt disrespected when you sent one person at him. Send the whole team at me, bro. I don't care how talented a player is. If he doesn't have a cutthroat, get out of the way. I got this. Mentality to his game. Right. He will only get so far. Two superstars right. don't just happen to score three combined points in the first half of their biggest game of the season. Mm. It's one thing to get out to a slow start. But this, this is the result of a player who lives bro. and thrives. It's like the biggest big meltdown ever, bro. Having a field day with two players that can't help but to freeze up. In big moments, Damn. either you have it or you, or don't. you don't. Some players lack it. Some players are honing it, and some players are made of it. Damn. Hope you all enjoy it. And as always, until next time. Damn. But another great video from fucking uh from fucking uh Jimmy. But you know uh, let me know how y'all feel about the you know the Suns meltdown and shit like that. But but man, Luca really gave him the fucking Luca special, nigga. That's the Luca special in that game seven. Blowing y'all niggas off the floor and sending y'all asses off to fucking Cancun, bro. But, hey, Luke and the Mav did they fucking job for sure. Blowing these niggas off the floor. But, you know, uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you just ain't the show, subscribe. You know, down below in the comments. You might check it out. And next one.